remember when my dad was diagnosed, they took us into this little room and they said, right, Mr. Clark, you've got Alzheimer's. Um, and it was the biggest blow to both of us. I was given a box of pills and sent away, and that was it. It was clear to me from the beginning that Linda was devoted to her dad and was doing a fantastic job of, of looking after him. But it was also clear that she was starting to struggle and was facing a number of challenges as, as many carers do. When I first met Brogan, Brogan's family were going through a very difficult time. Brogan's younger sister had neuroblastoma and had been suffering from that for the past three years. Brogan was quite shy and was very, very worried about um, a younger sister and she was also struggling with the behaviour of her older brother who has ADHD. I have to like calm him down or like hug him if like he's like getting like really angry and then like I have to give him medicines if he doesn't want to take them I'll have to like hold his hand or like I'll give him like a glass of milk. I got kicked out of my mum's, uh, had it all done with my dad. Because I had to go, my, my dad had to go and obviously to keep my mum happy I left. I had no options whatsoever. Um, I was sofa surfing on my mates set, set days, different place every night for a few weeks, and then on the streets, and go down on the quayside and just walk about, potter about, about 11 o'clock at night till about 7, 8 o'clock in the morning. My name's Noah Redfern, and I'm the elected mayor of North Tyneside. Well, I've been in this post for four years, I've addressed those needs that the residents told me were greatly concerned about. I think if you walk out this borough, you can actually see them. You can feel the buzz that's back in the borough by these new businesses coming in, 